Hey everyone, welcome back to US Daily News. Today I'm diving into a hot topic in the political sphere, Tim Waltz's military record. As you might have heard, Tim Waltz has joined Kamala Harris on the Democratic ticket. But what does his military background bring to the table? Tim Waltz served in the Army National Guard for over two decades. From responding to natural disasters to serving in Italy, Waltz's military journey is quite impressive. He retired as a Master Sergeant in 2005, a role that has given him a deep understanding of the challenges faced by veterans. Waltz's military experience doesn't just end with his service. After retiring, he took his commitment to public service a step further by playing a prominent role in the House Veterans Affairs Committee. He's been a fierce advocate for veterans' rights, pushing for better healthcare services, and fighting for the repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. So what does this mean for the Democratic ticket? Waltz's background is expected to be a significant asset. His first-hand experience with the military and veterans' issues gives the campaign a credible voice on national security. The Democrats are clearly emphasizing their support for the military, and Waltz embodies that commitment. However, the inclusion of Waltz has also sparked comparisons with his Republican counterpart, J.D. Vance. Vance served as a Marine officer, a role quite different from Waltz's master sergeant position. This difference in experience is likely to be a talking point throughout the campaign, with both sides eager to showcase their military credentials. Waltz's advocacy for veterans is expected to resonate with many voters. The challenges faced by veterans are often sidelined in political discourse, but Waltz keeps these issues front and center. His dedication to improving health care for veterans, especially those affected by harmful substances during their service, is notable. So, will Waltz's military past be a boon or bane for the Dems? It's clear that his experience brings a seasoned perspective on military and veterans' affairs to the ticket. As the campaign heats up, expect more scrutiny and debate around his military record and policy positions. That's it for today's update. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Stay informed, and I'll catch you in the next